So here's my situation. I found a great video on YouTube that I want to share with my students, but the problem is, is it's about a 50 minute video. And out of those 50 minutes, there may only be a few minutes that I wanna show because that's what's relevant in the lesson. So rather than me trying to skim through the video and show this to my class in real time, one of the things that you can do with Edpuzzle is actually edit a video using some of the features. So what I'm going to do is open this video in Edpuzzle. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to use that first feature, which is cut. Now, it's, it will be helpful for you to go through and watch this entire video and pay attention to the time of the video segments that you want. Now, by default, Edpuzzle does give you a way that you can trim the beginning and the end of a video. But in this case, I want to isolate several different segments to share with my students. So the first thing that you'll have to do is just click on this playhead. This will determine where you make the individual cuts. So let's say that the first segment I want is going to be about five from the five minute mark to the seven minute mark. I'm just going to position the start of the clip somewhere around five minutes. Back it up a little bit, here we go. And now what I'm going to do is just move my playhead to somewhere around that seven minute mark. There we go, and I'm going to tap on this button that says Add Cut. And you'll notice that Edpuzzle has now sliced just that two minute excerpt that I originally selected to be shown. And that's the first segment that I'm going to show my students. This information that's in gray, these parts of the video, once I finish, that will all be deleted. So the only thing that my students will now see so far is this two minute clip and everything else that's over here. So let me just kind of move this down. Let's say I wanna move it right around here to the 26 minute mark. I just have to move the start of the clip there's 24. I just have to inch that down just a little bit. That's the seven minute mark. There we go. This is a good spot. Let's say 26 minutes. And I want to do 26 minutes to about, let's say 30. So it's a four minute segment. Again, this is where I want the clip to end. I'm going to choose add cut. And now I have a second segment. So let's say that the last clip is going to be somewhere around the 40 minute mark. Right around here. I can just move that. Here, and I'm going to use this from 40 minutes to, uh, let's just say the spot, which is almost 43 minutes. I'm going to add a cut that will now split this clip. And let's say that I just want the final piece of this. I'm just going to extend this down. There I go. So I took this long 50 minute video, condensed it down to four different clips that I isolated. You'll notice that at the bottom it's showing me that the total length of my revised video is now 12 minutes. If I thought that was a little bit too long, I could even trim some of these longer segments down a little bit. Kind of like that. Okay, and once I'm finished, I can just move to the next step, which is voiceover and questions. And now when I add those questions, you'll notice I'm not adding questions to that long 50 minute clip I originally started out with. It's now showing me that seven minute clip, the final clip is just going to be the first segment, then the second segment, the third and the fourth, all kind of pieced together without any interruption in between. Just one into the other, into the other. It should make the process of viewing this video for students a little bit easier because I'm really only showing them the most salient parts of this and the parts of this video that are most related to the lesson.
So from here, all I have to do is click the finish button and share this video with my students. So this is a lot easier than some other means of editing down a longer video, such as maybe downloading the video when opening it into a different program, which you then have to do the editing, download it again, re-upload it. This is just a really quick way to take a longer clip on YouTube, bring it into Edpuzzle, trim it into segments, and then add some different questions and features in Edpuzzle to share with students. So again, if you've ever been intimidated by the process of video editing and you find videos that you want to share with your class in YouTube, I definitely recommend using some of the video editing features that are available in Edpuzzle. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy these videos, please feel free to subscribe.